Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode in Minecraft and as you can see behind me things are changing. Me and Senor Chas, well I'll be, I'll be honest, mostly Chas because he's been doing all the work. I, I made an attempt at making a blacksmith's and it, yeah it, it was all right i guess it weren't great but he, he it changed yeah um i forgot to take a picture of it um when i took it i think he has one i think i might um try and get him to send me the picture because i forgot to take one so if you uh, if i do manage to succeed in this right about now is when it should be appearing on screen and obviously, this now is what it looks like. So as you can see, it's obviously a, a, a lot better than mine was. But anyway, um, yeah, we things have changed uh, quite dramatically around here. We've, um, I'll be honest, uh, my job has mainly been supplying the raw materials for the build and doing all of the terraforming. So all of this hill that's all here all got cut back and redone. Uh, that was me. And all of this hill has all been dug out and done. Oh, that was, uh, this is all me as well. And Chas has been basically doing the walls. Now, apparently, there's going to be like an inn that goes here. And it's going to be like an inn and uh, possibly a library. I don't know. I think we might be considering putting the library in together. Um, but yeah, so there's not really a lot. So you can see we've started. Um, what I wanted to do is when we release the villagers, which are. You can see they're in there. Uh, when we release the villagers, they are going to be in this little uh, secluded little camp. Now, I'm hoping that we can do it so that the vill pillagers can't spawn in here. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be enough or whether I'm going to... I'm going to need to put a roof on. I have a feeling I'm going to have to cover the whole thing with glass over the top so it's going to be kind of like a you know a completely sealed off um you know like a dope like a thing you like see in space movies you know where they're like they're on different planets and they've got the the, the sort of like big but big bubble that they sort of build in and that you know that everything's underneath to protect it it may if that's on as a roof it may stop the pillagers i still haven't found whether that's a thing or not and then obviously we're going to have all of this space here. We may turn this into another house in this area here. Um, but you can see we've even uh, uh, incorporated the portal. So basically the only way that you're getting in and out of here is via the portal that's in my nether, uh, that's in my end of the nether hub. So that's kind of basically what we've been doing. Now, My what my current plan is, however, is we... I'm going to head over here and try not to die. So I've got, you know, a load of space here, there, and everywhere. Now, one thing I am running low on all the time at the moment is iron. I don't have a lot of iron, and you know, with all the with all the farms and stuff like that, that you know, and stuff the uh, and anvils especially as well, uh, all require a large amount of iron. So I've been watching, um, uh, catching up with Mumbo Jumbo's sort of Hermitcraft videos, and he's built um a iron farm on that i don't know if i'm going to be able to build that one specifically i'm not sure but so i'm either gonna build the iron farm here or i may possibly build it over where i've got my mob farm but then that means i've got to get it would make sense to build it here because this is where all the villagers are so it would be easier for me to get the villagers out of this um out of you know take a few out of the the what the village breeder there and then transport them it's not as far for me to bring them um if i do need a villager one so yeah we're gonna need gonna need that so i think that's gonna be my plan for the moment i'm gonna have a look at some youtube videos and see what uh what's what and you know what sort of ones are within my realms to build uh, how much space I've got. I've also filled in a load of the... There was a load of ravines and stuff um, through here that I kept nearly falling into. Um, especially right around here, there was a massive one like in the middle of here. So I've kind of filled all this up. And also what I'm trying to do is make a really nice oak forest. So what I'm doing is I'm just planting uh, oak trees and I'm just chopping down the small ones. So basically all of these ones here that have like the extra branches on, I'm leaving. 
And the plan is is just to make this one big, like, really nice full size oak forest. Um, but yeah, that's um, that's kind of what the plan is at the minute. How the hell did these get up here? Seriously, everywhere I go, there's chickens. I swear to God, it's Bandito brother is like sneaking in everywhere. If I Oh, I, I kind of feel like I should go and check the nether hub for chickens. But yeah, I might, I might, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to go and check the nether hub for chickens real quick because I have a feeling there's going to be loads. I don't know why I've just got this feeling. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll go and do that first real quick. Okay, we're here. Look, I was just about to say it looks good, but not quite. I still don't know. As far as I, I've been all over this place, I don't think there's a machine here. If there is, I got kudos to Bandito for being able to hide the hide the sodden thing, because I can't find it anywhere. So. At least there's not as many. I don't know if this is because, you know, I've been keeping on top of it and it's had weeks of where I just haven't, uh, you know, I wasn't able to get online. Um, but there doesn't seem to be nearly as many. Good thing. Yeah, so I think we're all right. Has anybody bought any cakes or cookies? Anybody? I'm highly doubting it. No, I didn't think so. But there we go. I yeah. I I wasn't really expecting it, but yeah. Anyway, uh let's get back to our base and let's figure out uh, if we can build this iron farm or not. Well, we will. I just it depends on which one I'm going to be able to build. All right, guys. So, after many 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 hours of looking through just about every YouTube tutorial on how to build an iron farm, I think I've settled on one. It's going to be a uh, one. I think the uh, original video, uh, well, the video is a pixel riff, but it's like a combination of stuff from Doc M and somebody else. I'll put a link to the video that I'm specifically following um, in the description later. And to be honest, I think I'm going to stick with my initial plan and we're going to build it sort of around this ish area. I don't want it too far for the base. I don't want to, you know, travel miles and miles, keep going backwards and forwards. Um, I also need it to be relatively far away so the village over there doesn't interfere. So as you can see, we're currently in a raid situation. Or we were. Yep, yeah, there we go. So we're raid. So I know that the villager boundary that that village over there is causing is basically ends sort of around here. So I know if I go here. Oh, more pillagers. Um, or even potentially here. Actually, here might be here might be better. Here's here. Yeah, here might be better. Uh, it's going to be a little bit further for me to get my villagers across, but I shouldn't be too much of an issue. But this is a nice flat area, flat-ish area, um, and you know we, we can just build a pathway or something here. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna. I think here is going to probably be the, our best bet for our iron farm. And oh, it's another one of them bloody. I'm still finding these water blocks everywhere that um, bleh, I really still can't fly. Um, <laughs> that uh, Bandito Brother has kindly dropped all over my base. There we go. That's that gone. Right. So, yeah. So, I'm going to get cracking and try and make a start and build this. It's not going to be, a ma you know, it's not going to be massive. I don't need massive amounts, but it's going to save me having to spend hours and hours in my mine, uh, which is... Um, down under all of here and goes miles in those directions underneath. So yeah, we're gonna go. I think here is probably gonna be our best bet. Um, everywhere else is really gonna kind of require a lot more. There's a lot more trees. Not really anything's flat over there. There's loads of water. So yeah, this this over there is probably gonna be our best bet. And yeah, I'm gonna get cracking on that and hopefully um, get some get some iron farming on the O. I need to close that bit off as well. Anyway, right, I'm going to get to it. Catch you in a bit. Okie dokie. So, um, we've built the 
actual iron farm over here for the most part. I mean, I've got the basis in. So the little cell things that keeps the villagers in is up. That's up. Uh, all I have to do now is, if you see, I've started building the dirt way because I have to get the villagers all the way from over there to over there. I'm kind of beginning to think that maybe I should have built it like over water over here or something. I didn't want it too close to that village. I want, you know, this area. I'm kind of thinking I'm just going to develop in and this is just got a lot of this is just going to be like build, you know, um, pretty builds. You know, there's going to be no actual function to it. Um, so, yeah, so I need to uh, basically get some of the guys out of here into... Well, I've got to lay all the lay the rail system first to get that uh, get that going. Um, yeah, so I need to get the rail system up. You see, so I'm not going to bring them far. I just need to get them out here. I'm going to drop them into this divot where I'm going to put the water thing. Now I haven't had much luck with um, what do you call it? Uh, with rail like moving villagers with minecarts. Before I could never seem to get it to work, but there there is no way in hell I'm going to be able to do this with boats. Um, so we're going to have to just try and get this going, and that hasn't even slightly worked, has it? No. Okay. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to have to work my ass off now getting this um, getting this rail system up and running. And then we shall go from there. So I'll see you guys in a bit. I did it. I did it. I did it. <laughs> I got one. I'm not entirely sure he should be bouncing that much. Really? I'm, I'm, I, I hope not. But that's one in. And, and yeah. So, uh, yeah. Let's... Uh, one down, five more to go. Yay. Oh, and a zombie. Let's not forget we got to get a zombie in here as well. Yay. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, all the villagers are in. And now I'm trying to find a zombie. Normally I can't escape the sudden things, and now, now I want one. There's like none. Like anywhere. Like at all. Like seriously, there's none. I, I don't get it. This is ridiculous. I need one measly zombie. And I can't find one. Anyway. Oh, I thought the villagers were going to be the pain in the butt. They were actually, once I got the system running, really easy. Just need to find a zombie. Oh. Well, this is going to take some time. See you guys later. All right, boys and girls, we are done. We are finished. I am done. I am done. I'll be honest, I have hated... This is one of the worst ones that I've had to do so far. Um, purely from the standpoint of just trying to get the villagers in there and trying to get a zombie and trying to get the zombie to sit in the cauldron. That was a monumental pain in the ass. Massively, 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 massively. Pain in the butt. Anyway... But we're done. So I'm in the process of starting to take the ridiculously ugly rail track out. As you can see, we're in. It's working. It's going. We're getting a little bit, you know, it's already started. We're up to a stack and a bit of iron already. This is going to be, this is going to be great. This is going to be awesome. And honestly, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to have to start doing with the excess iron that I'm no doubt invariably going to have. Looks like we're going to be having a new shop. So, yeah, I need to... If anyone can tell me why my games randomly minimize for no reason at all, I'd really, really appreciate it because I have been through everything. I have turned off the Windows game bar. I've turned, I've been through the internet. I've done everything I can think of. Just get it to stop doing it. And it does it when it feels like. Like completely n no, no idea. Drives me insane. Anyway, especially when I'm recording. So anyway, um, I think that's probably all we're going to have time for in the video today. So I hope you did enjoy it. <laughs> that wasn't clever. 
Uh, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a rating. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to come and see me on Twitch. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And that's it for me today, guys. So I hope you have a good one. I'm out. Bye-bye. <laughs>